good morning, good evening, good afternoon. My name is Dana, a.k.a. Matt Caster. My friends call me Pod. Up on Liverbox, I'll go by the Magic Man. This video today, guys, is going to be real quick, but it's going to give us some real good information. It's going to show us how to check our output levels using Replay Gain and MP3. And we're just going to go right down the line here. So I'm going to take this first one. I'm going to come up to Analyze, uh, Nyquist. Now, I'm using Audacity 2.1.3, and this is where my plugins are. Uh, I don't know what version you have, but if you don't know how to install these plugins, I also have another video on how to install Audacity as well as these particular plugins. Now, the MP3 Gain is a standalone program. Uh, very simple to install, and we'll open that here when we get finished with Audacity. So we're going to come up and we're going to analyze this track. Now we have two options, to normalize or analyze, and we want to analyze. Communities, if they run off of the 89 dB system, this is what this plugin is telling me, that we have to reduce it by a 0 0.7 dBs. And I know that has to be reduced because it has a minus side right there. Okay? Yeah. So that tells me it has to be reduced. But with particular communities, you also have a range. Now, the one I'm up here right now with LibriVox, they have between a 87 and a 92 dB range. So this audio file passes with no problem. Okay? Now let's come to our next one. We're going to go to Analyze, Replay Gain. Now, this one has to be reduced by a negative 3.5 as well. This now puts us outside of that 87 to 92 dB range. And it's real simple. You take 89 and you subtract 3.5. Okay, and that will you, you'll know this information before you do anything else. It's real simple math. So we just say okay. So at this point, we come up to effect, audacity, and amplify. So as you can see, we have the number 0 0.385. We're going to go minus 3.5, and that's going to give us a negative 3.88. And we just simply say okay. Now, at this point, we would go ahead and export our file. Now, I can look right over here and see that it's in a mono, 44,100 hertz, 16-bit PCM. You've now met all the requirements for LibreVox. Okay. Now, let's come to our next one. Now, a plus 1.3 dBs. Again, this file I know automatically meets the requirements, but we're going to go ahead and amplify it anyway, just so you can see how simple it is. Effects, Amplify, 1.3. Now see guys, we're still in that negative range. If you ever have to check this box, and I'm going to show you here in a second, that's a bad thing. Well, we'll have to do a workaround on that. So we simply say, okay, the file is now ready to export. Okay guys, now we're at our next uh, file. We'll come up to Analyze, Nyquist, Replay Gain, Analyze, plus 1.2 dBs. We say OK. Effect, 1.2. And guys, I'm telling you right now, you don't have to do this. Uh, I'm just showing you how simple it is to use this plugin. Now here, guys, we have to go a positive 6 dBs, okay? Amplify. Now, this is what I was talking about. In order for us to get to absolute zero, and that is without clipping, anything to the right of that zero in digital audio will clip. So we're going to type in or just put in 6 dBs. Now, as you can see, the OK button is now grayed out. And it's showing me that I'm going to be clipping by 1.2322 dBs. I must check this box, and I must check OK. 
this is not the way you want your audio. Okay, so I'm going to undo this. Now I built a chain for LibreVox. It's a FX chain. And we're going to apply this chain and I'll have another video that shows you how to build this chain. So we're going to apply this to the current project. Now, this is what I do for the ACX when I check that and we're not concerned with that. This has nothing to do with the ACX. But now we want to analyze this audio again. Replay gain, analyze, and see now we're at a negative 1.5 dBs which puts us within the range of LibreVox between a 87 and 92, okay? So that's the example here with these five files. Now let's go ahead and open up MP3 Gain, and I'll show you how simple it is to work that program. Now, at this point, guys, I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to add a folder, and this is where I keep my audio test. I'm gonna say, okay, and there we go. Now, you see this file in red. That tells me automatically that in order for me to bring this up to the 89 dB range, it's going to clip. Clip track, that Y stands for yes. Now, everything else, and I want to show you this because some people have a hard time getting that replay game to work with Audacity. So you can literally come over here and look at your file in this program. Now here it's telling you on the first file we need to add 3 dBs. 89 minus 3 is 86. That's outside of the range for LibreVox. Now Juno, you don't add anything. It's uh, 2 tenths of a, a, a dB off. This one we know we have to add 6. It will clip. Now the third one it's telling you to subtract 4.5. So we know that this one does not fall within the range because it shows you right there. And then, of course, the 76, you add the 12. The 87, you would add the 1.5. So as long as you don't see that minus sign, you add to it. When you see the minus side, you subtract from it. Okay, guys? Just that simple. Take care. God bless. And we are out of here.